Hello guys, welcome to another Minecraft video. And in here, I'm going to show you how coronavirus spreads in a Minecraft simulation, which Minecraft, I guess, is a simulation sandbox game. So, let's see how coronavirus works. And I don't need to tell you what coronavirus is. I know you already know, especially at this time of the year, on this year, 2021, and last year. But before I show you this COVID-19 simulation, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. So, I can make new videos and it helps me a lot. I can't do it without your help. So, without further ado, let's continue. So, I have a field of about 500 villagers, and all of them are ready to be infected by coronavirus. So I'm going to get a zombie spawner, and as somebody might notice, this is Minecraft Education Edition, since in Minecraft 1.17 on Caves and Cliffs, uh, Minecraft Launcher, which is Java Edition, villager mechanics are different, more baby zombies spawn, and villagers are faster, so they should be better. I'll spawn five villagers at the beginning, and they should catch more and more and more and more and more. Our first few villagers are being infected. Let's watch this one. It's being infected. We have our first infection. We have no infections here, but it seems like one's about to happen. We have a problem here. Get ready to be infected, villagers. Let's see what's happening here. A villager is in danger. So, I'll tell you why in 1.17 it doesn't work. Because, look at this. In 1.17, a, a, a zombie villager or zombie always follows the same villager until it's infected. But in here, they just follow the same villager. Right now we have three infections here. Any here? I don't think so. And in Minecraft Education Edition, they also work together in groups. So let's watch what's happening here. Work as a team. Zombies. More and more infections. So as the as the time marches on and the game ticks away, more and more villagers will be infected exponentially, just like in real life. So this is an almost hyper realistic model of real life, except that it it can't transmit through stuff like water and air, and arid climates don't count, so there's cold and hot. But there are some games online and in the App Store that have hyper-realistic models, much better than this one. But since this is a Minecraft channel, I can't do that. More and more being infected. Look at the other side. No infections. Oh, I think this one is about to be infected. No. Pillager. Yes. There's also a small chance that the villager will die, so by the time this finishes, the lag will decrease. I know I'm cheating here, but I'm just gonna give a few helpers. Wait, this is a baby zombie with a shovel! Wait, how rare is that? How rare is that? I don't remember. Guys, look at my last video, look at my last video. I don't remember, what was the chance of a zombie having... What's the chance of a baby zombie? And what's the chance of a, of a shovel? And then multiply them together. Just look at my last video. Now, do it. And don't forget to like and subscribe. You have to look at my last video. Wow, villagers are going crazy here. 
Let's see the progress. The zombie villagers are progressing. Let's see the high density area. Oh no, we have some villagers cornered. The villagers look like they're flying because time slows down when your computer's lagging. It just looks really funny. Just watch those villagers fly. Bang. It's really working. Infections are increasing faster and faster and faster. Just How amazing is that? Amazing. I'm going to take a screenshot of that. Okay, let's see. Our infections are getting so big that in the low density area almost everyone's infected. Maybe like 80%. And in the high density area not many are infected because normally the uh, zombies would go for the closest villager. But if there's lots of villagers, then they'd keep going for different ones and it would take a very long time to infect everyone, even though that's not how it is in real life. Coronavirus does not choose where to go, it just happens to go somewhere. So now we have this giant tribe of zombie villagers. All going for the same villager. Oh no, this guy's in trouble. Oh, I can still trade with him. I need to get an emerald bow. Oh. He's already gone. Wait, what happens if he gets infected while I'm doing this? Oh, okay. Let's see what's happening here. Still nearly nothing. But we do have a small tribe here and a small one here. Oh, we have large tribes. Whoa, look at this. Wow, okay, now like maybe 30 or 50% of the population is all infected. So let's see this. Nothing in the urban area. But we do have a few groups. If you go back to near the start of the video, you can just see how the number of villagers that have been infected increased like exponentially. And if you don't know what exponentially means, it means for something to grow faster and faster and faster, such as multiplying by two constantly, or multi multiplying by itself, squaring multiple times. So 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32 would be an exponential chain. Almost every villager has been infected with coronavirus. And even the urban, urban area has been taken over. Just watch how many red villagers there are. It's amazing, it's beautiful. Everyone in the urban area is gone. I think that was the last villager. Any more villagers? I don't think so. So now every single person in, I don't know, what should we call this place? Zombie town is infected with coronavirus. And I just want to take a screenshot. Where is that zombie? Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this about real life world problems and more science videos, then please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. So, 
I hope you see. I hope you like this video, and I'll see you in the next one.